Hello everyone, this is K. Savita from K. Sir College of Arts and Science for Women. Unit 5 consists of 4 topics. The first topic is Uncle Tom's Cabin and the next two topics Billy Bird. And the third topic is The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and the Rip Van Winkle. And the fourth topic is Ceremony. Harriet Beecher Stowe was born on 14, 1811 in Lynchfold, Connecticut. Harriet became a teacher at Hartford Female Academy and an active abolitionist and American novelist too. She wrote articles, essays and short stories. She known for her famous novel Uncle Tom's Cabin. She was died in July 1, 1896 in Hartford, Connecticut. Uncle Tom's Cabin is an anti-slavery novel by American author Harriet Beecher Stowe, which was published in 1852, helped the groundwork of Civil War. The best selling of the novel 19th century and second best selling of the book that century. The book tells the story of a slave man who is sold from his relatively kind but debt written master to a slave trader to another family with a little girl Eva, whom she saves from drowning in the Mississippi River. Two years after this, Eva dies and he is sold again. This time to an evil slave master named Simon Legree. Because Thomas unwillingly to tell Legree about where runaway slaves have gone. Legree orders him beaten until he talks. Just as Tom is about to die, son of his original owner comes to buy him back. But he's too late and finally the son returns his own plantation and frees all of his slaves in honor of Tom. The next top is Billy Bird, which was written by Herman Melville. He was an American novelist, short story writer and a poet of the American Renaissance period. Among his best known work is Moby Dick, which was written in the year 1851 and Taipei in 1846. He was born on August 1, 1819 in New York City. Herman was the third of eight children in a family of Scottish and Dutch descent. He was died in 28 September 1891 in New York City. The narrator describes Billy Bard, a handsome, good-natured insider who is taken from his merchant ship, the rights of man into service on British Royal Navy ship in Indomitable. John Clagard, the ship's master at arms, develops an irrational hatred toward Billy. Clagard falsely accused Billy of plotting mutiny, which creates a tension between two men. Billy being both physically and morally incapable of responding to Claggart's false accusations, becomes speechless and strikes Claggart. Unintentionally, he kills him. That leads to Billy being arrested for his crime. Captain Edward Fairfax Ware, the ship's captain, is strong between enforcing strict naval discipline and acknowledging Billy's innocence. Despite recognizing the unintended nature of the blow, Ware feels compelled to carry out court martial to severity of striking an officer. The court martials take place in under despite evidence supporting Billy's innocence were reluctantly acquaintances to the rigidity of naval law and orders Billy to sentence to death by hanging. Finally, the novel explores the themes of innocence, justice and the conflict between the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. The next topic is the Legend of Sleepy Hall, which was written by Washington Irving, American short story writer, essayist, biographer, historian, and a diplomat of the early 17th century. He wrote the short stories of Rip Van Winkle in 1819 and The Legend of Sleepy Hollow in 1820, both of which appear in his collection, The Sketch of Jeffrey Cray and Jane. His historical works include biographies of Oliver Goldsmith, Mogamat, and George Washington as well as the several histories of 17th century Spain that deal with the subjects such as Ahambra, Christopher Columbus and the Moors. He was died on 28, 1859 in Sunnyside, Tarrytown, New York. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow is a classic short story written by Washington Irving, first published in the year 1820. The story is set in the small town of Sleepy Hollow, New York in the late 18th century. The story follows the protagonist, Igabed Gray, a superstitious school teacher with an appetite of ghost stories and descent to the many wealthy Katrina Van Dessen. Igabed becomes infatuated with Katrina and sees her as his chance to secure a prosperous future. However, 
however this romantic aspirations are hindered by the formidable presence of bomb when burnt a local mischief maker known as the bomb bonds who always takes katrina's part the narrative builds up suspense as rigobard attends harvest festival at the vance estate home but tales of the headless horseman a spectral figure who roams sleepy hallow gain prominence after a night with fleeting haunting encounters igabo john is home alone where he crosses paths with the headless horseman himself what follows is a thrilling chase thrilling chase Uh, leaving Igobot's fate uncertain the story is often celebrated for its blend of humor gothic elements and its exploration of human ambitions superstition and the power of legends the legend of sleepy hollow has since become a classic american ghost story and continues to captivate readers with its eerie atmosphere and its iconic depiction of the headless horseman The Ribbon Winkle is a short story written by Washington Irving and published in 1890. It tells a tale of a man named Ribbon Winkle who lives in a small village in the Catskill Mountains of New York during the time of the American Revolution. Rip is known for his laziness and aversion to work, often seeking solace and nature avoiding his responsibility. One day he wanders into the mountains and meets a group of peculiar men playing night pins. Rip drinks their beverage and falls into a deep sleep. He awakens after 20 years, completely unaware of the time that has passed. Upon returning to his village, he faces the reality of drastic changes and transformation that occurred during absence. The story explores the themes of change, the passage of time, and the consequences of neglecting one's duties. Leslie Merman Silco is a native American writer and one of the prominent figures in contemporary native American literature. She was born on March 5, 1948 in Albuquerque, New Mexico and grew up in the Laguna Bulbo community in Laguna, New Mexico. Her works often incorporate traditional native American storytelling techniques, blending them with the modern narrative styles. Silco gained critical acclaim with her debut novel Ceremony. published in 1897 the novel tells the story of a young world war 2 veteran who returns to the laguna bulbo reservation where he confronts the traumas of war and seeking healing through the traditional native american ceremonies in addition ceremony silco has written collection of poetry and other novels including almanac of the dead in 1991 gardens in the dunes in 1999 Her writing delves into the themes of identity, cultural clashes, environmentalism, and the preservation of the Native American traditions. Recognized for her contribution to literature, Silco has received numerous awards and honors throughout her career, including a MacArthur Foundation grant, also known for the Genius Grant, in 1981. Leslie Merman Silco's writing continues to inspire and educate readers about the rich. and i was heritage of american cultures ceremony is a novel written by leslie marman silco was first published in 1977 the story follows the life of tayo in american world war 2 veteran from the laguna bulbo tribe in new mexico tayo returns home deeply affected by the traumas of war and struggles to find of his place in rapidly changing world At its core, ceremony explores the themes of identity, culture, healing, and the power of ancient traditions. Tayo's journey is driven by his search and healing and sense of belonging. He encounters spiritual beings such as the trickster figure and undergoes traditional rituals known as ceremonies to address the historical traumas experienced by his people. Silco beautifully weaves together various narrative threads. intermingling supernatural elements memories and traditional stories with the tayo's personal quest for redemption through vivid description and rich symbolism the novel explores the impact of colonization on the indigenous communities and the importance of cultural preservation in healing finally ceremony is a profound exploration of personal and collective healing dra- drawing of a native american mythology and folklore to shed a light on the complex issues faced by marginalized communities thank you for watching